the number of people in England being asked to shield to protect themselves from coronavirus is to be expanded. The government is recommending an extra 1.7 million people to be added to the 2.3 million already on the list. Half the group have not yet been vaccinated, so they'll now be prioritised by their local GPs. And the change has been prompted by a new kind of calculation, taking a bigger combination of risk factors into account, as our health editor Hugh Pym explains. The least well-off areas have been hit hard by COVID. Health officials are taking that into account with new modelling to predict who's most at risk. Obesity, gender and ethnic background are other factors being used to identify people who will be advised to shield. The existing shielding list was compiled based on those with serious health conditions. The advice is to stay at home and support will be offered. All of these new uh, individuals who are included will be able to take that advice if they want to. They would also be able to get access to prioritised um, supermarket deliveries, to uh, medicines delivery. And, and also, if they're unable to work from home and they choose to take the advice and stay at home, they will be able to access statutory sick pay. Currently, the shielding list in England includes about 2.3 million people. Under the new policy, about 1.7 million more will be contacted and added to the list. Of those, about 820,000 haven't yet had a vaccination. Officials say they'll now be prioritised. Some have questioned the timing when the COVID risk factors had been identified a while ago. It would have been better to protect people at the earliest possible opportunity, especially when we knew uh, the uh, additional risk placed upon uh, people who, who came from certain ethnic minority backgrounds living in areas of deprivation. But now that we have got this tool, it's vital that people are supported uh, to protect themselves. Letters from the NHS will start going out to the new names on the shielding list. Local councils will contact them offering support. But for some with areas of high deprivation, that will be a major undertaking. Already we've got 17,000 people who are shielding. And the news today means that over the next uh, two weeks, we're going to be shielding another 12,000 people who are over 70 and another 12,000 who are under 70. That, I think, shows in very graphic terms the health inequalities which exist in a borough like Brent. Shielding will continue in England till the end of March. Officials in Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland have access to the modelling, but none are currently planning to expand their lists of those being advised to shield. Hugh Pym, BBC News.